All right, all right, all right. What is going on, my babies? It is your girl, Scorpion Reds Tarot. Back in the building, yes, indeed, to let you guys all know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of September. It's going to be a month to remember. I have not selected the group the sign yet that we will be reading for. I'm going to use my tarot dice. We're going to shake them up, shake them up, break them. And we're going to see who we're reading for today. I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. Every last one of my babies that have liked, shared, subscribed, supported me at any point of time throughout my journey on YouTube. And click this video. Shout out to you. I want to send love to you, boo. So, let's see what we're getting into today. Let's shake them. Ugh. Who we reading for today, Father God? What sign are we reading for today? Is this Virgo? Looks like we're reading for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, what's the word, Joe? You was up next, baby. And I got one of my mustard seeds sitting here on my uh table. And you know, the only thing God asks for is the faith of a mustard seed, baby. So mm -hmm. And I most definitely did one of my mustard seed faith-based candle fixings today. So, hmm, what you been praying for, Virgo? What you been praying for? So let's get into this. Oh, hold on. Let me write you guys down. Hold on. Okay. So let's uh, say a quick prayer before we get into the energy. I'm not going to make it too long, okay? Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Please tell us the word. Please tell us uh, what type of anointment you are placing over our life. Father God, we are in here trying to figure out what the energy is surrounding around love in September for the sign of Virgo. Father God, please strength and um, elevate people in current love situations. Uh, let's anchor it on in permanently. Let's see it thrive grow and blossom and for the people that are single that have not yet uh met their true love father god please let them shine like the biggest star in the galaxy so that the person that you designed specifically for virgo has a direct <laughs> a direct line to find them they won't get distracted by nobody on the way because there ain't nobody in this world shining as bright as as the virgo so father god we thank you so much for all your love light and abundance please give the sign of virgo the goddess that they need to receive today and just like we just said before only thing we ask for is the faith of a mustard seed so father god we uh have shown you the mustard seed it was already on the table so let's see what we got uh amen amen and amen all right Sorry if I made it too long, child. I be trying to make it short, but listen, God be telling me to speak. Speak on what I feel. So, let's get into this. What we got in love for the sign of Virgo for September? What we got, baby? What's going on for my Virgos? What's the word? Virgo, what's the word, y'all? What we got? Okay, y'all was about to just jump on, on out there like that. Hold on. Y'all got two cards. You got calling back and empathy. Hmm. There's somebody that's extremely attached to you, Virgo. And every time you leave, I want to say like these purple, these people, these purple. <laughs> I don't know if someone has a favorite color of purple. I don't know where the hell that came from. But it's like as soon as you leave, it's like these people want to talk to you like immediately like someone is sad to see you go and then you got empathy right there but it's kind of given that it's someone that's on site taking care of you and that's showing you a lot of empathy I feel like somebody goes through separation withdrawals when you guys are not together and you see how she got you know, a little representation of you guys and the love that y'all share. Like sitting right next to her. So I don't know if this is somebody that they have a picture of you guys together that they stare at all of the time. And they keep it close to them until you come back. And again, I feel like with this empathy card, I feel like there's someone taking care of someone that's sick. Or that needs aid or help in some type of way. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on. 
Like someone is giving like big mother energy. Big mother energy. So let's see what we got going on. I just heard someone just made some ginger plum and mint tea. That actually sounds good as shit. I've never even had that before. I don't know where that just came from. Like, because I'm looking at this and I feel like it has something to do with sickness and just like to calm the soul down. But I feel like someone has like a bad cough. It's like a seasonal cough. Ginger is is good to kind of warm up the chest and kind of, um, it's like an antioxidant or something like that. So whoever this is, is like a kitchen witch or something. Like she knows what she's doing. You see, it's all this green on this girl. Very earthy. Very earthy. I just heard mysterious too. Someone wants to know, like, where the hell did you learn all of that? I want to say it comes naturally. It comes naturally. No one taught the Virgo how to um, nurture and clean the body. It's like this Virgo has... Uh, a talent for cleansing the body like getting some type of sickness or um, she focuses on people's health and well-being like I said this person is like a kitchen witch you got the will of fortune come on now Jesus alright oh, blessings are coming ahead for sure and then you got the Queen of Swords. Hmm. I feel like, um, and again, look at her. She's looking at this picture. So this woman has some type of representation of you at her house. I don't know. It could be social media too. It could be social media too. I want to say like, Girl watching you or something like that. I just heard high priority. So it's like this person set you as like a high priority. And I just heard stable and able. I'm not picking more cards, child. Let me move on. I just heard stable and able to take care of you. This person is hoping that you'll be calling soon. Well, I feel like this person hasn't heard from you in a while. And then when I drop this, like a pause. So, like, yeah, there's something. There was a pause in this situation. And it was like regret and soulmate. I feel like someone is waiting to see. If they come back to you, I just heard, but in the meantime, it's like you're focusing on taking care of somebody else right now. I'm hearing like your work has to be done. So honestly, I'm keeping it 100. I feel like, I don't know if you're a military wife or something like that. I feel like someone's like husband or the person that they love is overseas. I feel like you um sent packages of like food, medicines, little ointments and things like that. I feel like you're waiting for this person to come home, like come back from service or something. It's like this woman is waiting for her man to come home and like when he get like I'm about to bust out singing as soon as I get home. Like, as soon as she gets home, it's like, she's going to pour this love on you because it's like some level of trauma that these men of service, that these men of service come back. It's like war wounds, mental war wounds and stuff like that. So, it's like she got to keep a, 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 a healthy home. She has to keep a healthy environment. You see, she has to be full of love and ready to aid and heal at any time. And I feel like this person is like taking this up as like a it's like a hobby or something to do in the meantime. It's 
like taking care of other people or something like that. Tell me what's going on with this love. What's the regret and all of this stuff about? I'm trying. Okay, you got potential, crossroads, and forgive. Okay, there's something going on here. There's something going on. There's a relationship at a pause with someone that you think is your soulmate. Someone is full of regret and empathy. You got the Wheel of Fortune right here. I'm kind of getting this like... I don't want to say this, but it's like... Uh, I can't help but notice it's like all of these different women. But I just heard it's like teaching them something. It's like teaching them how to grow. How to show their beauty and their femininity in like a positive way. It's like they nurture each other. So I don't know if it's like a group of women or something. What the fuck? And now I'm here and it's like I forgive you. I just heard it's like it's a group of women. I, I, I'm really getting like um like military wives or something. It's like um support group, faith or something like that. Like they make sure good tidings come to each other. Cause I, I want to say like these women be by themselves. And they do have a great deal of empathy for each other because their relationships with their soulmates were put on pause. And I want to say like some of them kind of regret dating men that are in the service because I want to say they spend like a great deal of time alone. There's somebody with this Queen of Swords. She's by herself. Like she, she keeps looking at this picture. It's like she focuses a lot of her energy on him. The relationship has a lot of potential, but they're at the crossroads because it's something that transpired where she's waiting for this person to call back and there's some forgiveness that needs to be done. I'm getting, I'm, I'm like, is someone having to forgive you because you, you've been focusing on taking care of other people? Because I definitely see like this woman... It's, it's, well, I feel like this woman took on more than she could chew. It's just like, okay, I'm in love with you. I know that you are in the military or the Navy or something like that. We have a beautiful home. Because, you know, like, they give them housing and everything. Like, she, she has everything. But I feel like she needs to find something to focus her energy on because she's alone all of the time. I don't feel like this woman works. Like, she's an entrepreneur. She creates her own craft she creates her own business but whoever this is they come and go a lot i feel like it's and i feel like it's because of their job i don't feel that it's because if they don't love you but it's like you're left alone a great deal hmm. let me got this what the hell is going on here i ain't even about to hold you only thing i can see is like Something about like a military wife. Okay, what we got going on? We got that loyalty is sexy. But I'm trying to tell you, like, she's not entertaining any other men. Maybe other women. But I'm still not getting anything sexual. I'm getting, like, they just look after each other because their relationships have been put on pause. And I feel like these women be suffering. Because they don't get to talk to their husband all of the time. It says, let your feelings show. Going to take you on a dream date. Okay, come on. I like you because you're just like me. So, this is good energy. This is good energy. So, I feel like whoever this woman is. I feel like there's some type of regret because 
she didn't realize that when she married this man that she would be alone for a vast majority of the relationship and a relationship where her soulmate is going to be on pause because this person is somewhere so far remote from her you know that I don't even feel like they have the ability to talk to each other every day like she there are some days that go by where she doesn't hear from this person and to where as though this person is very fortunate and she is covered and protected and shower and love she has a group of people that they all look out for them but I feel like it's like this woman she just wants her husband to come home she be she hates waiting for her husband to come home and when he's home like she makes the best out of it she cook clean she takes care of him like no other you know what I'm saying I kind of feel like the the man regrets the fact that his wife feels this way he knows his wife feels this way he knows that she's lonely and he appreciates the fact that she's loyal as fuck because I'm going to tell you, there'd be some horror stories about some shit that be going on with these military wives and things like that. But this woman is loyal and she's dedicated and she's a good woman. And honestly, she's teaching these other women what she does to keep her mind focused on her relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it, it, it's, it, it's like I know that you feel like... The relationship is at a crossroads because if it, it, it feels like you're in a separation that you're not in you know what I'm saying like you're in a relationship by yourself but it's like due to the circumstances you have to forgive because if it wasn't for the fact that this person look and then at the eight of, and you got the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck it's this person's job they're at work and this man works hard and when he comes home, he's going to take you on a dream date. And he's going to make up for all of that time that he's been missing. He knows that it hurts you. You see that five of pentacles up at the top? It's like... <sighs> it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like... I don't want to say it's like someone's being put out of their relationship. And, and, and it's like the job... The king of pentacles. He got to take care of home. Like he, he's big daddy and a caddy. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not going to be available all of the time because he's a hard worker and a lot of people depend on him. You know, it's, it's, it's not because he wants you to feel that way or he's intentionally trying to make you feel that way. When you get home, he's going to take you on a dream date. And you're going to understand just how fortunate you are to have this love and be in this relationship. Um, I, I definitely feel like the husband regrets the type of work that he does. But it's just what he does. It's, it's what he does. You know what I'm saying? And we just going to have to find a way around it. What is this? And then you got the magician. He going to find a way to make it work, baby. He going to find a way to make it work. By hook or by crook. He's going to make you happy. This is a good man that you got here, Savannah. It's a very good man. Very good man. And he might be from Asian descent. Look, both of these cards. The um, And he's studying. He's learning about new aspects of happiness that he could bring to you. Like, I honestly don't think right now he knows how he's going to pull it off and he's going to do it. But he has the power. He has the utilities and resources. One thing about this man, money is no object. Money is no object. Not at all. And he's a giver. It actually makes this man feel good when he can get you alone and, like, pour gifts and pour love out on you, like, it almost makes him feel like he's receiving it just by your reaction. So I honestly feel like, baby, when he comes home, don't be surprised if he's taking you out on a few nights of love and lavishness. You wake up in the morning and you got a box sitting right next to your pillow, stank breath and all. <laughs> he's just sitting there smiling, looking at you and shit. You know, like, it may be, I think he's only home. He's only home for probably like three or four months or something like that. He's only home for like three or four months, but he's going to make up for it. And it's going to be the best three or four months of your life. 
And with this alchemy card, I feel like he is studying. For something else to do. But I honestly feel like the military is, is his passion. He may go to do another craft or figure out how to work and do another form of art. But I'm trying to tell you this man is going to end up re-enlisting. He's going to re-enlist. Because I just heard I'm going to re-enlist. <laughs> if he leaves his job, he's going to regret it. Like he loves being a military man. What can I say? What can I say? But um, he's going to call you back. And again, I think he's working around stuff in the background to make everything all better. Um, shout out to all of these women that's in your little support group. You know, all of you guys are blessed. All of you guys are blessed. Let me, let me tell you something. There's a lot of women right now. Even though y'all y'all alone a lot, there's a lot of women right now that would love to trade and have your problems, baby. So, <laughs> okay. We are reloaded. So anyway, Virgo, this has been your reading. Y'all let me know if this resonated. Um, are y'all military-wise? Like, am I on to something here? But anyway, um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button.